Buenos dias, hello everyone. This is Glenn Irvin, Irv Spanish, and I'd like to thank Linda Schweitzer for a suggestion or a idea inspiration to put this video together about how to embed a countdown timer like the one that you see here on this page. So how you actually do that is really simple and the options as far as what this actually looks like are pretty much endless. And what you need to do first is you can go to a place called timeanddate.com slash clock slash free countdown. I'll make sure that I link it in both the Twitter post and in the description here in YouTube. But anyway, you're gonna go to this site and specifically it takes you to this free countdown timer for any websites. Now this happens to work perfectly inside of Schoology. And what I'm gonna do really quickly is kind of go down through these options and then show you the most important step, which is how do you get that embed code and then put it inside of Schoology. And then everything else is just about your preferences. What do you actually like? So anyway, I'm going to go down this uh, list here and basically it says, hey, select a location for the clock as far as where it's at. Right now it says U.S. Indiana Winnemuc and I'm going to select, I can select Chicago, for example, other time zones or whatever else it might be here. Really the most important factor of a countdown timer is what am I counting down from? And you can see down here at the bottom right um, that it is counting down this nine hours and 16 minutes. So basically two months, um, it looks like two months and 16 days from now. So, oh, actually not two months, February 16th. I'm an idiot. <laughs> That's actually tomorrow. And then it has the time as 000, which I'm not sure zero might be 12 a.m., okay? So let's keep it like this, but I'm gonna change the time to let's say 4 a.m. And this updates, so you see it's now 13 hours away. So what if it was today, if I put two, 15 and it says let's make it 4 p.m. right now it is 2 44 p.m. so it is one hour and 15 minutes away perfect okay so I have a time and now it says hey what do you want your actual timer to look like and you have all of these different options um, I think the one that I picked for Schoology this one I just did this gradient kind of feel where you can pick two colors smash them together or whatever it might be there's some that are preset let's say this Valentine's Day one or whatever it might be we'll leave that Valentine's Day one there you can select how big the counter is so if I wanted it to be large uh, you can see it just changes the size of the counter itself I'm gonna keep it at medium and it says how many headers and lines you can change all that you can change the font it has a few different fonts that you can select from how big the font is I put it at 200% because I really wanted it to pop out to stand out uh, but if, if you write too much text in there you may want to go ahead and just have it a hundred percent as you see here it says time left for the event now the cool part is you can change this part to countdown time what do you actually want it to say there and then it should change that yep countdown timer um, and you can even have multiple lines of text about like kind of uh, framing what is it that it's counting down you can say I want borders or I don't want borders if you do select borders you can select all the different options there the padding I think within a website it'll actually put padding so that the edges uh, actually look better so you can say no padding or padding you could experiment with this okay here is the most important part once you mess with all of these settings here you need some code some embed code so it starts off by default says normal page web page with HTTP server you need to change that to secure web page the other one doesn't work for some reason someone that's more technical and savvy would know why then I just click show HTML here and I'm gonna just copy this so I can literally click copy or control C or whatever it might be a command C copy that and now let's go back into Schoology and let's do the countdown heart timer here I'm in my urban sandbox I'm gonna embed it into a page though you could do this in an assignment you could probably anywhere that you can put embed code it's gonna work so I'm gonna just put page here and I'm gonna call it uh, Valentine's embed <laughs> Let's see if it actually typed that. Yeah, there we go. And then I'm going to switch this over to HTML. Over here are the two little uh, freckles as um, 
my friend Paul calls it. I'm gonna paste this in here and I'm gonna change this to display inline. I actually want it to pop out to appear right when you're there at materials, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and click that one on and I'm gonna press create and hopefully this worked. If it doesn't, <laughs> big FF for me. I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom of all of this stuff that I have created here and here it is, countdown timer Chicago. Now I actually chose the medium one. It looks a little bit smaller. This other one is the larger one. Okay, so it depends on what you want to go ahead and do. And honestly, everything is, um, you can manipulate any of the types of things in here, colors and text and whatever it might be. But that's how you embed a countdown timer into a Schoology page or assignment or basically anywhere you can embed things. If you have any questions, let me know. Adios. Hasta la vista.